Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we figured out how much work it would take to take 100 meters of fluid and move it a distance of 100 meters. The work was 29,452 joules. Now, the question is how much power will it take to move that fluid? And the power, by definition, is work over time. So how do we come up with a proper expression to figure out the power? Now, how far would this fluid be moved in a single second? And since the velocity is 0.5 meters per second, it would only move a very short distance every single second. We know how much work it takes to move it a full 100 meters, which means a half a meter is only 1 200 as much distance. And so the power, the power would be equal to work divided by time, and so, since we're only moving at 0.5 meters, and the total distance, the total amount of work required to move the total distance 100 meters means we only need 1 200 as much work to do that. So the work required would be equal to 29,452 joules to move it 100 meters. So since it's only one half meter, then we're going to multiply that times the ratio of 0 0.5 meters divided by 100 meters, which is 1 200 that much work in one given second, because we know that the whole amount of water moves only 0.5 meters in a second. And so if we then take that total amount of work divided by one second, that gives us the power. So let's go ahead and figure that out. We have 29,452 divided by 200, and that would be 147 and a quarter, so the power would be equal to 147.26 watts. <clears throat> All right, now let's convert that to horsepower. So the conversion to horsepower would be that uh, we want horsepower here, we want watts here, and we know that uh, one horsepower is 746 watts, so divide that by 746, and so that takes about 0 0.197 horsepower, roughly two-tenths of a horsepower. So in order to move a section of 100 meters of water, it would require about two-tenths of a horsepower. So if you want to move 1,000 meters of water, it would require 10 times as much. 10,000 meters of water requires 100 times as much. So now we're talking about needing a motor or needing a power input of about 20 horsepower if you're talking about moving 10,000 meters of fluid through that pipe. So this would be the amount of power required for a 100 meter section of the pipe. Of course, under the circumstances where we have a velocity of 0.5 meters, a diameter of 30 centimeters, and we're moving water through that pipe having a fraction of 0 0.1 or the frictional fraction of 0 0.1. And that is how that's done.